On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to have another installment of a telly makeover. We have a telly that we upgraded some things on and have recently made a new upgrade, and we're going to do something different. We're going to go to a video clip, and the Beard's going to tell you about it. All right, so it's Sunday afternoon. I'm sitting here. I want to spend some time on the Telecaster. So we got this package in the other day. I'm gonna go ahead and try and flip this and put this in the Telecaster, but before I can do that, I thought it'd be interesting just to record a couple clips of the way it sounds now to see if there's any discernible sound difference in that uh, and talk about why and show you what I got. So this, like we said in the beginning here, is from Mastery and it is the Mastery um, bridge for the B5. Fender Vibrato system. So it comes with that little box, comes with some instructions and paperwork inside, and it comes with two little, uh, what do you call these? The things you put down the bodies, the ferrules or whatever. So let's check out the bridge real quick before I go try and swap this out. If you open this up, it looks like this. Let's see if we can get a tight shot on that. So, super well made. Do a second of focus. Super well made. I mean, you can tell just from picking it up that this is substantial compared to what's on there. Um... And then in the bottom of this little nice little tin they give us, it also comes with some out the three different Allen wrenches that you need to install it. So that's pretty nice of them to include that. And so what we're thinking about doing and what we're talking about doing is pulling the stock bridge off the off of what's on the guitar now and placing the mastery bridge on. And actually I lied, it's not the stock bridge. So this telecaster has already been through one makeover. In that makeover makeover we replaced the two pickups the stock mexican telly pickups with two twisted telly uh pickups and we put on the b5 vibrato system from fender and so this is great i mean we really were happy with the guitar we love the way it sounds with the twisted telly pickups in it we really like the um vibrato system here the one thing that we haven't been super excited about is the bridge and um I don't know if you can hear that. It gets a little loose and jangly. Uh, you can go through and kind of tighten it up. And then over time, it kind of loosens up a little bit. And so one thing that we found is it's just taking some maintenance, right? Uh, it wasn't kind of like set it and forget it that we've kind of had to watch after it and stuff. And it's actually caused us maybe to play it a little less than we would have uh, otherwise. Uh, and partially because we have a lot of options, right? A lot of options of things to play that we don't have to maintain. So I wanted to find a bridge that we could put on here that would just take it to the next level. Not that there's anything wrong per se with this bridge. Like I, I wouldn't say it's bad. I just think it could be better. And so I'll play a couple things on here so we can compare it. And then um, we'll splice those things in later uh, into the video.
How about each train and letting it ring? All right, so that that was the clips. Yeah, <laughs> I guess he worked when I wasn't here, and now he can just sit here and look pretty. Right. So, uh, tried to do a couple, you know, like chordal things, some stuff with single notes, mm -hmm. different spots on the neck, whatever. Trying to just get right kind of a feel. And so, when Pat first got here tonight, the first thing I did was play him mm -hmm. those two sets. Of, he hasn't touched to tell you that's why I'm holding it. Uh, he hasn't got to plug it in with the new bridge on it. Nope. But did get to listen to the two clips back to back, which is odd because normally we're kind of in the dark, don't know what it sounds like on the recording, but now we know what the recording sounds like. Mm -hmm. So thoughts? Yeah, I think, um, I guess, man, uh, I, I definitely think the new bridge um, sounds better. We had some discussion about the telly previous bridge and trying to recollect what it was like when we first got it. And then over time we played it quite a bit. And then it kind of sat a little bit and we got it back out to play it. And there was just a certain amount of buzzing. We weren't sure if it was an action thing or fretting out, but it didn't have a resonance. So it didn't have a clarity to it. The pickup still sounded good, but the strings just did not have the freedom to move. And it was just weird. And we even tried to play it in another video right. the other night. And at first I was playing without it plugged in. I'm like, oh, I won't be able to hear this through the amp. And we could hear it through the amp. And now from the video clips that I heard, there's a resonance and a clarity and a ringing and, and there's no constriction on the strings for lack of a better term. Right, and so that bridge has, like, you know, the saddle with the two little set screws that screw down. Mm -hmm. And in the in the clip I recorded when you weren't here and I was talking, mm -hmm. I actually just kind of ran my finger over it, and you yeah. can hear the noise. Yeah. Held it up to the mic, and there's nothing. Right, right. This thing is, like, solid as can be. None of that. And I think what happened is over time, those little set screws just kind of... Some of them kind of back out a little bit, and then they get a little wonky, and they get a little rattly and jangly. Mm -hmm. um, I think even in the first Telecaster Part 1, I think we might have even mentioned it mm -hmm. in that. Uh, I think Chris might have mentioned, too, that you know those bridges can be kind of jangly. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were just, and rightly so, we're so enamored by the pickups themselves. Mm -hmm. And even the Bigsby, we didn't overuse the Bigsby in the first video, but we're just like, man, these pickups sound great. Yeah. So I think we might have not... Taking the whole entirety of the makeover in in that one night. Right. Because even just that, like, in those clips I did when I was playing that. That note right there and mm -hmm. that kind of little funky thing. Right. On the original bridge, I you could really hear it choke out. Mm -hmm. Then on the mastery, it really kind of sang out, I thought. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listening to it's one thing. You played it last week. Yeah, right. You know what you were frustrated by last week. We'll see yeah. if, it, if, it, yeah, if it's sure. an upgrade. We're right to the neck. That is really nice. I can feel the whole guitar resonating. I can feel all of the strings vibrating. It's almost like, I guess maybe one way I could describe it, I'd look at you and go, you broke one of the strings, but did you replace the whole set with like 11s? Like the strings just feel beefier. Like I feel them vibrating mm -hmm. under my fingers. And actually, these are all the same strings right. that were on it before, except, except for the E string, part. which I broke. And now I get why people hate Bigsby's. But, <laughs> right, right, um, right. No, but the strings even feel... Like beefier, I guess it would be the best word I can use. Maybe more, more tension or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But that is that is quite the piece of apparatus. Yeah, I like it. Just from those couple strums.
Yeah, that sounds great. So if we were real YouTubers, <laughs> when I changed the bridge, I'd have taken a camera and set it all up right, and, and right. done the whole thing on, on film, which I didn't do. I will say this. Uh, Mastery sent a little thing of directions with it, followed the directions. It was as easy as you loosen all the strings, pull them aside, pop the old bridge out. You loosen. There's three Allen wrenches that come. The medium one goes in the top of this and loosens it. And I thought, well, why, how does that work? Um, cause there's actually two different Allen wrench. So once you loosen that, put it in, tighten them, then there's a smaller Allen wrench that goes in deeper and grabs another okay. nut that allows you to adjust the height of this. Mm. Um, which I was able to adjust and bring that up a little bit, put the strings on, tighten the tension. And then there's a third Allen wrench that goes here to, to do intonation and it probably could use maybe th this very subtle tweak on the intonation right um and so i might we might take it over to chris at woodshed guitars yeah. again because he's kind of the guy that does those right the final final tweaks last five percent that makes from good to great <laughs> um that allen wrench there was no way the space between here and here. Right, to get it between this bar and there. So I don't know if typically you just take it off. I My guess is, I actually thought about going out and taking the Dremel and cutting the end of cutting it a little bit so it would fit in there. Kind of almost surprised that Master didn't do that because every attention to detail, mm -hmm. every other attention to detail, sent in the, the three Allen wrenches, right. the directions that were really super simple to follow. And the bridge itself is like a work of art. Yeah, right? and the packaging was pretty cool as well with the yeah. tin and the... Look like straw. It was just straight paper. <laughs> I was I was joking with Pat that in the tin I wrote a little note to my wife, <laughs> explaining to her that you know if something happens to me, take this bridge off right. this guitar. Don't sell the bridge with the guitar. Right. Put the original pack on. Yeah, and sell that. Strip this guitar basically because you've taken a 1992 <laughs> Telecaster <laughs> and Mexican Telecaster and basically made it a custom shop from like here to here. <laughs> right. So, so the the last question is. What's next for it? We flipped this too. We did flip that plate. That was the other thing. Yeah. We talked in the one live stream in the 19 conversations live streams about relicking and that set off a whole like right. super like right. Right. deep conversation. What do you think? Do you relic the telly? I mean, it's uh, why not? <laughs> in the comments. Yeah. What I do mean, you he's think? Ask, he's asking yeah. me and I'm just like we haven't done it yet and why not? You I mean, it's kind of, there's a little bit of relic to it. Natural yeah, relic to it. I can feel it. one right there. Um, what do you think? Do you relic the telly in the, in the comments? I think in the 19 conversations, one of the guitars we talked, someone said, send it to me. I'll relic it for you and send it back. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll put some natural relic on it for 20 years. Yeah, and send, send it back, it back to, you. to you. Um, so yeah, any other thoughts after just taking a couple noodles? No, on it? it's really great. Like I said, it, it, it just, it rings out. There's a clarity to it. I think it allows the pickups to really shine and it just feels more substantial and meaty, like to the point where I literally was like, feels like you change to a higher gauge of strings from a resonance perspective. It doesn't, it's not hard to play. It just feels really substantial. I, I think it's great. I, I, I'm surprised. Listen, I'm not a gear guy, like as far as like getting stuff and fixing it and tweaking it and changing it and modding stuff. But what's been done to this guitar, I understand it. And now I understand how much one thing can make a huge difference. This is a huge difference. I mean, it, it's one thing. It's very. I mean, they're pretty. They're pretty pricey, right? Um, but it is like the Cadillac. I mean, it. Right. I didn't. I don't know. How, I think kind of what you were saying. I wasn't sure that I expected the difference to be that dramatic. To be that dramatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, why is anybody? Why would you spend that much money right. on a bridge? Right. Who would do buy, that? Yeah, you know, we can. <laughs> so. We tried it. Right. We like it. We just on your own without any help from the the, the company. It was just like we're going to do this. Oh yeah, yeah. They they don't. But now we're going to ask them for something. <laughs> they they don't. Right. And and that's probably why because they don't have to. They don't have to. <laughs> right. 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 So, I mean, there's other companies that don't have to and right. do, sure. but anyway. like the other company that hooked us up with this. Right. The Fender friends. <laughs> so. So yeah, great, great idea, great job. Like it, 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 we went and had this thing that was really magical and kind of like because of the busyness and other things, it just wasn't like really sounding right. And we just kind of set it aside. We're like, that's a shame after everything that Fender did to send us this stuff. And it sounds great. It just got to where it, 
just didn't want to be played. <laughs> right. And now it's like, okay, we expect to see this a lot. Sorry, Revolta. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah, like that's going on. <laughs> 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 the Madonna's right here. So, yeah, no, it's great. It's a great idea. Great job in doing that. And, um, you know, maybe part three will be Chris giving it the little once over and getting his opinion on it, perhaps. Maybe yep. a cell phone camera in the shop or something. You're welcome. I just committed you to something else. <laughs> <laughs> committed Chris. Yeah, that's right. You're welcome, Chris. <laughs> I think with that, I mean, yeah. I think we're at that point where we always like to take a moment and just thank everybody that's watching. Uh, clicking the subscribe button, uh, the notification bell, leaving likes and comments down below, going to Instagram, Facebook, and all that. Uh, can't tell you how much we appreciate those of you that are joining us. And I think with that... I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you can never have too much gear. Driver fuzz. Uh, let's start with the drive. And, of course, I need my crutch. I need a little delay and reverb there. But we'll go Barber, direct drive, first. Enough us. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a trumpet on some of the with the Bigsby.